You're watching Balitang Vancouver, BC-wide Filipino broadcast news program brought to you by the Rayfort Media Group, the largest Filipino multimedia facility in British Columbia, reaching out to the Filipino community with the widest newspaper and magazine circulation in the Lower Mainland, Philippine Asian News Today, Philippine Showbiz Today, Living Today Magazine. The Rayfort Media Group also brings to your living room the Philippines' latest events, news, sites, and happenings via its pioneer program, TV Patrol. Call now to advertise, 778-895-6667. Lagi kitang kasama sa aking alaala hindi hindi malalayo kahit kailan Ang Angka Pinoy tuloy-tuloy thanks to Times Telecom Ito ka sa puso ko With Times Telecom Condo living can be this tight why settle for a small place when you can have more space for the same price? Finma Properties. City living made easy. Come and visit Glosa Dental Center at 75 Kingsway Corner Broadway Street in Vancouver with telephone numbers 604-874-0868 or 604-961-0971. Magpadala ng inyong door-to-door -door box sa Jollibee Box Express sa inyong mga kamag-anak o kaibigan. Mura na at malaki pa ang mga boxes. Balitang Vancouver is brought to you by Brayfort Media Group. Sa Balitang Vancouver ngayon, pag-migrate ng skilled workers sa Canada, mas mahirap na. At Filipino community sa Vancouver, nakiramay sa mga biktima ng hostage-taking sa Maynila. At kilalanin natin ang Philippine Canadian Sportscaster sa CTV. Narito na ang programang tututok sa lumalaking bilang ng mga Pilipino dito sa British Columbia dahil panahon na para marinig ang boses natin. Ako si Mariton Pacheco. Panahon na para mapanood ang kwentong Pilipino. Ako po si Franco Telec. At panahon na para makasaya kayo sa mga gimmick natin. Ako si Irene Kerebin. Samahan niyo kami sa programang Para Sa Inyo Kabayan. Ito ang Balidang Vancouver. Mas mahirap nang pumasok sa Canada bilang skilled worker ngayon. Sa mga pagbabagong ipinatupad sa Federal Skilled Worker Application, binawasan na ang listahan ng mga trabahong in-demand sa Canada at nilagyan pa ng kota ang mga application sa trabahong ito. Mas mahirap nang pumasok ng Canada sa ilalim ng Federal Skilled Workers Program ngayon. Bukod kasi sa point system na kailangan para maging skilled immigrant, dapat nasa listahan din ng in-demand job sa Canada ang trabaho mo sa Pilipinas. Pero may mga pagbabago sa Immigration and Refugee Protection Act kamakailan kung saan binawasan ang in-demand jobs sa Canada mula sa 39 ay 29 na lang. Hindi na kailangan ang mga popular na trabaho noon tulad ng accountants, IT personnel, bank at financial managers at iba pa. Kabilang naman sa mga in-demand occupations ngayon ang health workers, chefs, restaurant at service managers at ang mga nasa construction. I believe that the minister uh, initiated this uh, system of issuing instructions in order to keep the, the immigration program in line with our labor market needs in Canada. So he's able to now uh, relatively easily adjust the list according to what the labor market needs. And so that's why he made the new list after receiving you know, several applications under the old system and no longer needing the same type of people 
they reconsider the list and change the, the requirements accordingly. And it Naglagay na rin ang quota ang Immigration Canada, 20,000 skilled workers lang ang pwedeng bigyan ng permanent resident status kada taon. Dahil sa quota, limitado na sa first 1,000 applications mula sa iba't ibang bansa ang i-consider nila sa bawat trabaho. Kung di aabot ang pagkakaroon ng job offer na lang, ang tanging pag-asa ng mga skilled workers na makapasok ng Canada. To be honest, it means it's a lot more difficult to be eligible as a skilled worker. Uh, not only is the list of only 29 occupations instead of 38, which reduces the number of people who might be eligible, but with the cap of only 1,000 under each occupation, what it basically means is unless you're lucky enough to be one of the very first few to submit, odds are you will not be eligible under the occupations list. And your only other option, therefore, would be as a job offer. Okay. So uh, getting uh, arranged employment offers for the sake of immigration has become a very popular uh, inquiry that I get. For example, a lot of people are looking for work <laughs> in Canada and it's uh, the only way for them to immigrate. Mandatory o kailangan na ang pagkuha ng English test sa lahat ng mga applicants sa Skilled Workers Program. Sa website ng Citizenship at Immigration Canada, ipinaliwanag ni Immigration Minister Jason Kenny ang dahilan sa likod ng mga pagbabago. Kailangan daw bawasan ng backlog para mapabilis ang proseso ng mga nakaraang applications. Nagbago na rin daw ang labor needs ng Canada. Nasa CIC website ang karagdagang impormasyon tungkol sa mga pagbabago sa Skilled Workers Program. Ipinagdiwang kamakailan ang Labor Day, alamin natin ang kalagayan ng manggagawang Filipino-Canadians at ang mga hamong kinakaharap nila ngayon. Ayon sa istatistika ng YBR arrivals ng mga overseas workers, ay nalampasan na ng Pilipinas ang China at India Agosto nitong taon. Dagdag ng Philippine Consulate na matagumpay ang mga Memorandum of Agreements sa pagitan ng Pilipinas at British Columbia sa patuloy na pagpapadala ng mga manggagawang Pilipino sa probinsya. Ang karamihan sa mga kababayan nating nagsisimula sa programang Overseas Filipino Workers ay umaasang tuluyang makapag-immigrate sa Canada. Uh, ang ating uh, konsulado kasama na ng uh, Labor at the Office dito sa Vancouver ay tuloy-tuloy ang pakikipag-usap sa gobyerno ng Canada upang uh, makapagpirma ulit tayo ng mga agreement na magpapalakas sa uh, protection ng ating mga karapatan ng ating mga workers dito. Katulad na lamang ng Memorandum of Agreement na nasainan uh, naka, nung nakaraan, uh, ito ay nagkaroon ng positive effect sapagkat uh, tuloy-tuloy pa rin ang pagpapadala at pagtanggap ng Canada ng mga Filipino workers. Bilib sila sa Filipino workers sapagkat napakasipag nila. Subalit ang makarating sa Canada ay simula pa lamang sa serye ng mga hamon na kakaharapin ng isang manggagawa. Una sa lahat ang matutong makapamuhay sa bagong mundo at kulturang Canada. Ikalawa ang makilala ang kanilang credentials sa profesyon. Ikatlo ang makahanap ng trabahong angkop sa kanilang kakayanan at pinag-aralan. And difficulties of new immigrants and older immigrants having their foreign credentials recognized here in British Columbia, here in Canada. And I think that it's incumbent uh, on the government um, to really improve the, the access and to improve the efficiency of the recognition of foreign credentials for our uh, skilled uh, immigrant workers. Number one, there aren't adequate services for the temporary foreign workers. And number two, uh, the issue of um, strengthening the employment standards Um, uh, laws need to be improved in terms of providing more protection for these workers. May ilan sa ating kababayang nag-upgrade ng skills sa pamamagitan ng pag-aaral muli. Sila yung maasang magkaroon ng magandang trabaho para sa kinabukasan ng kanilang pamilya. Aba, dahil dito, lahat ng tao yung nabibigyan ng, ng chance, nabibigyan ng break. Kung kayo talagang may alam na tao, talong lalo sa mga Pilipino, kung kayo may talino talaga, na ibibigay nila ang chance dito na makuha mo yung karyo na gusto mo talaga. Sa pagbabalik ng Balitang Vancouver, Filipino community sa BC nakiramay sa mga biktima ng hostage-taking sa Maynila. You're watching Balitang Vancouver, BC-wide Filipino broadcast news program brought to you by the Rayfort Media Group, the largest Filipino multimedia facility in British Columbia. Reaching out to the Filipino community with the widest newspaper and magazine circulation in the Lower Mainland. 
Philippine Asian News Today, Philippine Showbiz Today, Living Today Magazine. The Rayfort Media Group also brings to your living room the Philippines' latest events, news, sites, and happenings via its pioneer program, TV Patrol. Call now to advertise, 778-895-6667. Lagi kitang kasama sa aking alaala hindi hindi malalayo kahit kailan Ang pagka Pinoy tuloy-tuloy thanks to Times Telecom Ito ka sa puso ko With Times Telecom Condo living can be this tight why settle for a small place when you can have more space for the same price? Finma Properties. City living made easy. Come and visit Glosa Dental Center at 75 Kingsway Corner Broadway Street in Vancouver with telephone numbers 604-874-0868 or 604-961-0971. Magpadala ng inyong door-to-door -door box sa Jollibee Box Express sa inyong mga kamag-anak o kaibigan. Mura na at malaki pa ang mga boxes. Ito po ang Balitang Vancouver. Sama-samang nagpahayag ng kanilang simpatyang iba't ibang Filipino organization sa BC sa mga biktima ng hostage taking sa Maynila noong Agosto. Nagpasalamat naman ang Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office sa Vancouver sa pakikiramay na ipinakita ng komunidad. We wanted to express um, with one voice the um, number one our shock but also our very heartfelt sympathy and our condolences for that tragedy. Um, and also express that to the victims, the, the family members, and also to the, the people in Hong Kong. 56 na Filipino organizations ang pumirma sa sympathy letter na ipinadala sa Hong Kong victims sa naganap na hostage-taking sa Maynila noong Agosto. Personal na hinatid ni Phil Canadian Member of the Legislative Assembly Mabel Elmore ang sulat sa Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office ng Vancouver. Sabi ni Elmore, todo raw ang suporta ng komunidad sa sulat na ginawa ng kanyang tanggapan. Sagot na rin daw ito sa tanong ng iba't ibang media dito kung ano ang reaksyon ng komunidad sa trahedya. Walong Hong Kong tourists ang napatay sa hostage taking sa Maynila, nagawa ng isang pulis na nadismiss sa serbisyo. Um, we would like to express our concern and to have a very, send a strong message to the people of Hong Kong about the, the, the sorrow, the very deep concern we have, the sympathy we have for the victims, the families, for the people of Hong Kong, and to really try and um, show our compassion for from the Filipino people here in British Columbia, the Filipino community, uh, extending that to our friends in Hong Kong. Nag-aalala ang ilang mga Pinoy dito para sa mga kababayan sa Hong Kong, lalo't may mga balita tungkol sa backlash mula sa mga residente doon. Umaasa rin ang mga Pilipino dito na tututuhanin ng gobyerno ang maayos at malinis na investigasyon sa insidente. Many of our Filipino workers are in Hong Kong and somehow this is going to affect them. But they should really apologize and if possible, maybe even you know, give some kind of restitution. I don't know. The investigation they're doing? The investigation should really be thorough. Sinabi naman ng Hong Kong Economic and Trade Office sa Vancouver na walang katotohanan ang mga ulat na tumaas na ang bilang ng mga Pilipinong natanggal sa trabaho sa Hong Kong matapos ang hostage tragedy. There has been no upward trend in the number of prematurely terminated contracts involving Filipino maids in Hong Kong since the tragedy on August 23rd. I would therefore assure you that there is no irrational action or sentiment against any groups in Hong Kong. We are pleased to report that a number of foreign nationals working in Hong Kong also took part in the rally to share their grieving with Hong Kong people. Just like all of you here, 
sharing your goodwill and your kindness. Nagpasalamat din sila sa pakikiramay na ipinarating ng Filipino community dito. Dagdag pa ni Elmore, may tension man sa pagitan ng mga Chinese at Pilipino sa Hong Kong matapos ang insidente, nananatili namang maayos ang relasyon ng mga Pilipino at Chinese dito sa Vancouver matapos ang trahedya. Samantala, may bagong ambassador to the Philippines ang Canada, si Christopher Thornley. Iprinisinta ni Thornley kamakailan ng kanyang diplomatic credentials kay Philippine President Benigno Aquino III sa Malacanang, dating director ng Foreign Service Assignment sa Department of Foreign Affairs at International Trade Headquarters sa Ottawa si Thornley. Bago ang Pilipinas, naging Canadian Ambassador na sa Stockholm, Sweden at Dubai, United Arab Emirates si Thornley. Taga dito sa British Columbia, ang bagong Ambassador ng Canada sa Pilipinas. Sa pagbabalik ng Balitang Vancouver, alamin natin kung paano tumutulong ang mga kababayang doktor dito sa mga nangangailangan sa Pilipinas. You're watching Balitang Vancouver, BC-wide Filipino broadcast news program brought to you by the Rayfort Media Group, the largest Filipino multimedia facility in British Columbia, reaching out to the Filipino community with the widest newspaper and magazine circulation in the Lower Mainland, Philippine Asian News Today, Philippine Showbiz Today, Living Today Magazine. The Rayfort Media Group also brings to your living room the Philippines' latest events, news, sites, and happenings via its pioneer program, TV Patrol. Call now to advertise, 778-895-6667. Lagi kitang kasama sa aking alaala Hindi, hindi malalayo kahit kailan Ang pagka-Pinoy, tuloy-tuloy thanks to Times Telecom. Ito ka sa puso ko With Times Telecom Condo living can be this tight. Why settle for a small place when you can have more space for the same price? Finma Properties. City living made easy. Visit Glosa Dental Center at 75 Kingsway Corner Broadway Street in Vancouver with telephone numbers 604-874-0868 or 604-961-0971. Magpadala ng inyong door-to-door -door box sa Jollibee Box Express sa inyong mga kamag-anak o kaibigan. Mura na at malaki pa ang mga boxes. Para sa Project Pinoy ngayong linggo, naghahanda ng Canadian Medical Mission Society para sa isang medical mission patungong Ilocosur at Tarlac sa darating na taon. Nagpulong ang mga miyembro ng Canadian Medical Mission Society upang paghandaan ang medical mission sa darating na taon. Hatid ng CMMS ang tulong medical, dental at operasyong surgery ng may isang linggo sa bawat lungsod ng Digan at Tarlac. Ang Canadian Medical Mission Society ay pinangunahan ni Dr. Dan Vargas at mga Filipino-Canadians na nasa iba't ibang profesyong medikal at serbisyong surgery. In, but the medical mission from the States or from Canada has been going on for quite a while. So uh, we thought we'll do our part too. So in February of 2011, we're going back to the Philippines in uh, in vegan first, the first uh, week, and then the second week will be in Tarlac. The dates will be February 4 till the 18th. So we have uh, several doctors and nurses here. Uh, we'll be doing uh, ear cases, uh, tympanoplasties, giving, helping those with hearing problems. And the rest of the doctors are going to do some head and neck masses and thyroids. We also have a couple of dentists coming with us to do dental work. And also we'll be doing some um, outpatient uh, treatment for ear diseases and 
and uh, hearing tests and giving out hearing aids. And this, the, the beneficiary will be the people who cannot afford to uh, go to a doctor or pay for their uh, medical uh, needs. So these are quite poor people in uh, areas where, uh, uh, although there are some doctors there, but because of poverty, they are not able to uh, go to the doctor. So that's their least of their priority. And so they, uh, uh, they live, suffer, and, uh, and have their diseases without uh, being treated. Para sa nais tumulong, maaring magbigay ng donasyon at mga jewelries or artworks na maaring magamit sa silent auction na idadao sa November 21 sa Four Seasons Hotel sa Vancouver na isang fundraising na pinasimulan upang magkalap ng pondong kakailanganin ng medical mission. Para sa karagdagang impormasyon, tumawag lang sa 604-921-921. Um, well, we have a committee here who is doing the fundraising to uh, get some money to buy the supplies and equipment that we'll bring. So uh, actually, we're going to have a fundraising coming up in on November 21st, 2010 at Four Seasons. There will be a, a dinner and some uh, auction and we'll be welcoming anybody who would like to donate. Uh, in kind or in money to the society for the cost. Ang gusto ko ibitahin yung mga tao na mag tumulong sa amin, so malis sa fundraising namin sa November 21 sa Four Seasons. We have tickets for sale, and also if you want kung gusto niyo magdonate o kung gusto niyo tumulong o kaya sa mama o kaya kung ano mang gusto niyo gawin para sa Canadian Medical Mission Society. Sa Project Pinoy pa rin, kilalani natin ang Praise Team, isang sikat na dance, theater at arts group sa Surrey. Nagsimulang malit ang grupo noong 1980s, pero ngayon pang international na ang dating ng mga kabataang Pinoy na kabilang sa grupong ito. Sa unang tingin, hindi mo aakalain church group ang mga kabataang ito. Sa galing nilang sumayaw ng hip-hop at iba pa, nakakasabay na sila sa ibang mga dance groups ngayon. Pero praise team ang tawag sa kanila at may dahilan ang pagsayaw nila at pag-aaral ng performing arts. Evangelize to the performing arts. We provide an arena for um, expression of our uh, love for music, for dance, and uh, provide an arena where we can express our faith, our beliefs, and uh, in a very warm and spiritual environment. Siyam na dancers lang ang bumuo ng praise team noong 1997, ngayon mahigit dalawang daan na sila. Marami na rin ang nagbago. Professional teachers na ang nagtuturo sa mga bata at pati international competitions sinalihan na. And I'm happy that yung dati ako lang nagtuturo, ngayon sila na nagtuturo. And then uh, we raised the standards na pang international level na ang mga performance, mga singing and dancing. Umabot na sa mga hip-hop contest sa Hollywood ang praise team kung saan nanalo sila ng mga award. Pero ilan lang ito sa dami na ng mga trophy, awards at recognition na nakuha na ng grupo. Ayon sa isang veteranong member ng praise team na isa na rin sa mga nagtuturo sa mga bata ngayon, iba raw kasi ang dating nila bilang isang church group. Like people see something different in us. It's not just the typical, like, angry hip hop that you know. It's just like, oh, I hate this, I hate that. Like we, we try to give a message with um, every one of our uh, performances. We try to tell a story and evangelize through um, our dances. And with that, people like right away notice um, you guys are a Christian group. You know, like there's something different about you, and it's it's wonderful. At dahil mga estudyante ang miyembro ng praise team, hindi biro para sa kanila ang mahahabang oras ng practice na kailangan gawin halos araw-araw. Pero di bali na raw dahil parang ikalawang pamilya na rin ang turing nila sa isa't isa. Well, dancing is a big part of it and learning and growing together. It's also um, the family aspect of it. We're pretty much one big family so um, we help each other grow we we build sort of like relationships with each other so that we're brothers and sisters naniniwala ang praise team na sa pananampalataya talento at dedikasyon nila patuloy ang magiging tagumpay ng grupo 
Alam nyo bang may kababayan tayong naghahatid ng sports news sa isa sa pinakamalaking TV station sa Canada? Kilalanin kung sino siya sa pagbabalik ng Balitang Vancouver. You're watching Balitang Vancouver, BCY Filipino Broadcast News Program brought to you by the Rayfort Media Group, the largest Filipino multimedia facility in British Columbia, reaching out to the Filipino community with the widest newspaper and magazine circulation in the Lower Mainland, Philippine Asian News Today, Philippine Showbiz Today, Living Today Magazine. The Rayfort Media Group also brings to your living room the Philippines' latest events, news, sites, and happenings via its pioneer program, TV Patrol. Call now to advertise, 778-895-6667. Lagi kitang kasama sa aking alaala Hindi, hindi malalayo kahit kailan Ang pagka-Pinoy, tuloy-tuloy Thanks to Times Telecom Ito ka sa puso ko With Times Telecom Condo living can be this tight why settle for a small place when you can have more space for the same price? Finma Properties. City living made easy. Come and visit Glosa Dental Center at 75 Kingsway Corner Broadway Street in Vancouver with telephone numbers 604-874-0868 or 604-961-0971. Magpadala ng inyong door-to-door -door box sa Jollibee Box Express sa inyong mga kamag-anak o kaibigan. Mura na at malaki pa ang mga boxes. Welcome back sa Balitang Vancouver. Sa Kabayan Profile ngayong linggo, ipakikilala namin sa inyo ang isa sa mga Pilipinong nagbibigay ng pride at inspirasyon sa ating community. Akalain niyo bang isa sa mga sportscasters sa CTV tuwing gabi ay kababayan pala natin. Kilalanin natin ang sports journalist na si Jason Pires. Mapapanood si Jason Pires gabi-gabi sa CTV News. Para sa mga sports enthusiast, pinaka-inaabangan ang kanyang report. Hatid ni Jason ang mga highlights sa larong hockey, football, golf at iba pa. Kung nasaan ang BC Lions, Vancouver Canucks at Vancouver Giants, malamang naroon din si Jason, nag interview at nagbabalita. That's the great thing about our jobs is we come to work every day not knowing what we're going to cover. And it's new every day. And so I come in at 3 o'clock and sometimes I anchor the 6 o'clock newscast which makes it quite busy between 3 and 6 because I have to uh, assemble the lineup of what I think is the biggest sports stories of the day. It could Anything could involve you know, going to the Canucks practice and interviewing the players and coming back and putting that together as a story or going to a high school football game and shooting highlights and then writing the highlights and then delivering them for the 6 o'clock like, games. It's, it's such a rewarding feeling at the end of the day when you have a deadline every day and uh, you work towards that deadline and then at the end of the day it's over and then you start fresh again. Bukod sa pagiging sports reporter, baka sa pagkukwento ni Jason na siya mismo ay avid sports fan. I love sports. It's, it was a huge passion growing up and I know what you mean about being Filipino. I remember uh, my grandpa loved basketball because basketball was huge in the Philippines. Uh, but when you grow up, I was born in Victoria, so when you grow up as a kid, automatically you become a hockey fan if you're into sports like playing sports and I love playing floor hockey in school and playing soccer so I developed a love for hockey first and foremost love the Canucks and I played soccer so I love the white caps obviously and I think it's just great to be a fan of something and show your support so Lumaki si Jason sa isang cross-cultural family. Galing India ang tatay niya na pumunta sa Pilipinas at naging reporter sa ABS-CBN noon. Pilipino naman ang nanay niya. Yeah, we were raised very Filipino. Really? We were eating Filipino food, chicken adobo, rice for breakfast, fried eggs, tilapia, all that good stuff. Um, but also not just eating. Um, 
we were actually Filipino folk dancing as kids. I was doing the tinnacling, the bamboo dance, and all those sorts of things. Mom and dad were very heavily involved with the Victoria Filipino Canadian Association. So uh, through that, we were able to celebrate our, our heritage and uh, very proud of our heritage because I had a lot of family, as you know, uh, typical Filipino families are quite large and my mom's was no exception. She had four sisters, two brothers. Uh, we had regular family gatherings and as you know family gatherings always involve a lot of food. My dad's very very supportive and very very uh, proud of what his kids have done and very involved with the Filipino Association even though he's from India. He met my mom at the University of the Philippines. He was a big supporter and, and preacher of the importance of multiculturalism in, in Canada. Sports and reporting. Two passions rolled into one sa trabahong ginagawa ni Jason. It's part of the job. I mean, I love covering the Canucks and the Lions and the Whitecaps, but it's so rewarding to uh, profile some of the athletes that don't normally receive media attention, like our high school athletes or the little leaguers or um, you know even Perry's Prospects, a regular feature that he has to kind of highlight some of the kids that have aspirate, aspiring uh, uh, goals to, to uh, do whatever, whatever sport. Kung may suggestions po kayo para sa ating Kabayan profile o feedback para sa programa, pwede po kayong magpadala ng email sa balitangvancouver at gmail.com o tumawag sa telepono 604-588-6397. At dito po nagtatapos ang aming programa. Samahan niyo kami ulit sa susunod na linggo para sa mga latest na balita tungkol sa mga Pinoy sa BC. Ako si Mariton Pacheco. Ako po si Franco Teleg. At ako si Irene Kerubin. Ito, Ito ang Balita Vancouver. Vancouver.